you guys. Good morning. morning. It's 7 a.m. in the morning and uh, we decided to go to Hiroshima for the day trip. It's, it's, a, it's a very significant side trip that uh, we plan ahead of time because um, you know it's Hiroshima is a very very important part of history in Japan because it's the first country first place to receive atomic bomb and it's quite sad and we we obviously go in with a heavy heart and we um, go in there to commemorate all the lost life in this in the region um, Believe it or not, Hiroshima is actually a very, very beautiful town. Uh, it has a very, very interesting landscape. So, in the afternoon, we're going to take a ferry from Hiroshima to uh, Mijiyama, which is only about 10 minutes away. And we're gonna go there to see the famous shrine. It's in the it's in the water. It's very interesting. I haven't. I don't get uh, what it's all about, but I want to figure it out. So, stay tuned. Hey guys, I live at Hiroshima in two minutes. No one's here. No one's in our car. Empty train. Included with our JR Rail Pass, so we're super excited about that. So it stops at all the, uh, the attractions in Hiroshima. So the first place we're going is uh, Peace Memorial Park. Yeah, Peace Memorial Park. And then from there, the uh, Atomic Dome. Atomic Dome. Which is the uh, ground zero of where they dropped the Atomic Bomb. And there is uh, supposed to have a monument. It's very sad. So, show you guys everything there is to see here at the top of the Hey guys, we're at the Atomic Bomb Dome. Right there. Um, this is a very significant structure. Because during the first, during the Second World War, this is the uh, um, the only structure within the two kilometer radius that is still uh, been preserved intact. Um, other other structures been all wiped out entirely to ashes, and uh, the first atomic bomb it claimed about two hundred thousand lives. So how significant is that? And you know why now? They're, um, the United Nations, they're so focused on the North Korea or Iran because they're nuclear experiments. So I think this is a lesson for our generation.
the destruction. up at the Memorial Museum. A lot of interesting artifacts and a lot of history on the bombs. I learned so much I didn't know before. Um, yeah, it's really, really sad. <sighs> yes, yeah, it's very sad. And, uh, I learned so much about the Second World War. So we are now heading to the Mijima. Island. They're a famous dish. What was it? I forgot a name, but it's basically like a pancake. Uh, back in the day, people eat. It's like an omelet pancake stuffed in with leftover food. Like leftover noodles? Yeah, leftover noodles, which is really cool. I haven't tried it, but I will. Yeah. Mm, oh. Japanese sprinkles. What flavor is that? Garlic. Let's see. Tastes better. Interesting. Very entrance to the beautiful Miyajima. So excited. So we're still in uh, Hiroshima right now, though, right? Yeah. Miyajima. It's beautiful here. Miyajima Shrine basically is rated as the, the top three tourist attractions in the whole Japan. to board the ferry. Go to that beautiful island over there. Oysters, curry oysters. <laughs> oh, amazing. Kind of bad, so. Bako stumbled across his beauty just chilling at the beach.
This is what you were looking for, hey babe? Yes, Hiroshima style. Yeah, I just want to see how you can do it. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, it looks really good. Got the little like door like that. Oh, oh those fish are huge. Hey guys, uh, we are at the uh, nearby restaurant at Hiroshima Station. We just finished our day trip in Hiroshima we it's an excellent trip and we highly recommend you guys if you stay in, in Japan for more than seven days and if you travel from Tokyo to Kyoto to Osaka maybe think about doing a little side trip to Hiroshima you'll be disappointed because there's so many things to see and overall this today has been has been a great day I mean I I can't I can't ask for a better day this place is just it's it's just so culturally rich with like historical sites. And you, you definitely won't dis be disappointed going to Hiroshima. Yeah, and the island we went to, like, it was so interesting. There were so many little, so many deer just roaming around. Yeah. And they're so friendly. People just go up to them, pet them, and they were taking pictures. Yeah. They don't get startled. They're just they're so nonchalant. Yeah, it's so different than like, in Canada. In Canada, like statue, you just see yeah. Those. You take one step towards them in Canada and they, they run out. Yeah. yeah. And then if you do have time and maybe stay overnight at, at the Mijama sure. Island. I mean Mijama Island, you get to when you stay overnight obviously you, see, you experience the high tide and low it's a gorgeous uh, landscape. So just gotta try another ramen dish. Ramen ramen. You have to eat as much ramen as you can when you're in Japan. <laughs> 